It's Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight for a, a well, kind of early evening to getting close to mid-evening in a way. Uh, this video is probably going to be out pretty soon. So, yeah, returning to you this evening for the Iron Claw 2023 movie review that I got a chance to check out for Zac Efron's new film. It features Jeremy Allen White. That was part of the show Shameless. And... Uh, pretty good cast in this too Lily James as Zac Efron's wife in the film but pretty much I'm going to discuss what I watched for this 2 hour and 12 minute movie and let you know my thoughts on this movie overall so let's dive into this movie review now like I said it's the story behind it is about wrestling it's about the Von Erics and pretty much their family is cursed because of some family curse that uh, happens when someone gets hurt during wrestling and then it turns into a casualty. And it, it's kind of sad to think about it that way because they're really good wrestlers from back in the day. And they it is inspired by a true story, this film is. And I think this movie was pretty good. I was actually enjoying this film. I mean, the story behind it's a little sad and dark. And and just has a sad, dark story to it. But it tells it like it is. And Zac Efron's performance was quite outstanding. I really enjoyed his performance. He really gave it his all in this film. Along with the guy who played his dad. Um... Their dad, Fritz, I believe. Uh, Fritz von uh, Eric. So, pretty much, it shows the beginning of it where it's... Um, he was the wrestler at the time, and then years down the road, his sons became wrestlers. So, yeah. Uh, it's a sad tale for most of it, because... Zac Efron's trying to find out what he wants to do with his life, and he just keeps seeing his brothers dying, and he's just already having second thoughts about quitting wrestling, and pretty much, uh, the film had a good story, I mean, it was sad, but it was a really good story, so, overall, in my opinion, I think The Iron Claw was actually a good movie, um, it does show about their famous Iron Claw move that they do in the wrestling matches. Jeremy Allen White did give it his all for his performance, too. And the performances were pretty outstanding for this film. This was probably the more tolerable movie to watch besides Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, which was a boring dud. But still, if I were to give this movie an overall score, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Pretty strong film. Um, I have a few critiques with the film, but overall, it impressed me, this film. It was sad. It was because of the demeanor of the movie, mostly, and sorry about my yawning. Uh, the demeanor of the film did feel a little sad and just in your face with the true, uh, dark tale that it was telling. But it basically, um... Uh, depicted how to overcome grief and how to stand up to people that are uh, trying to uh, dictate how your life should go. Like their dad was trying to force them into wrestling and then uh, all his sons and that's how the family curse got brought upon. So pretty much... Uh, 8.5 out of 10 for the Iron Claw. Hopefully you enjoyed this movie review. The next one's Migration, so definitely tune into that. And thanks for watching.